Hey, we are setting up the Peaks 4-man TP. I've had a chance to run this thing already in the backcountry, really impressed, but uh, we're gonna kind of break down the ins and outs. This is kind of like your inside look. Ain't nothing in this world that's stopping me. My Rory outruns your Odyssey. I broke it off cause I'm not settling. I gotta get for the lip on a trip killing me. Yeah, it's like that I'm in the girl's missions. Yeah, it's like that she got the dimensions. I'm balling, they pay me attention. Going up, hydraulic suspension. Uh, you don't want this. Let's check it out. So first things first is we'll grab these sissy sticks, which I think can come with this kit. I'll have him put those up in so you can hang stuff when you want to put a stove in. Your pointy tip goes in there. So you're not breaking things. You like? Yeah. That is going to give top of your teepee a lot more stability. You don't so have to use can, sissy sticks. You could use a different set of truckers, but that's yeah, that's very nice, guys, for really hanging your clothes. And then you go but it also it also moves this out, like stretches out here, so you actually get more headroom. Headroom? How tall are you? Six two. Yeah, that probably matters to you. That does matter to me. Eight. It's eighty. If you look at here, it's uh, color coded. So then, like, if you're so if you're pitching on the kind of a mound. It would be a little lower if you're pitching in a dip, then it'd be a little higher. There's a little mark right here on the footprint. Yeah, you want, that's a little stronger material. This stuff is, is great, it's light, but it's not as durable. And so they put this extra, they reinforced it with some patch of more durable material right and there. I believe the zipper's for the stove. Yes, the zipper here would be if you were running a stove. And so when you set it up, you gotta make sure that your zipper aligns with your um, chimney spot. And then you would fold this up out of the way. Have your stove there so you don't burn your footprint. I show then, them where the footprint clipped in, so it's kind of nice. So the footprint clips in, so it kind of makes this a little bit of a bathtub type deal. But then it also, on the outside, I've got it to one of the stakes um, that also holds up the tent. And so you can really stretch it out and get it nice and tight. It looks like there's also some, uh, if you have some extra stakes, you could put it in here if you're running a stove to keep the footprint right where you want it. Okay, so why don't you lay down there, Mr. 6'2". <sighs> they say this is a four man, I say with gear, this is a two-man. So Tyler's 6'2". It would be quite cozy with four dudes. But for gear and stuff, you could put, kind of have your gear back here. Please. Have your stove. Tyler would be tending to the fire all night while I slept my precious sleep. And then up above, our stuff could be drying out. This stuff heats up pretty quick. I've had it where I put, had a stove in one of these, put my soaking wet gloves and pants up here, hung them up, and they're dry by morning. Which is kind of nice. Stove. Oh, it's, it's a game changer for... I like that you have an entry and exit or two entries. So you guys can see here, Tyler can come in this way. Or if maybe your, all your gear, Tyler's gear's over here, he can access his gear and I can access my gear. But my favorite part is what you showed right there. I'm going to do it one more time. You show how you got... <clears throat> so right here, um, each corner has these uh, guy outlines on the footprint as well as the clip. So we clipped it in first, and then I guided out to one of the stakes that's also holding up the tent. So it's tents there, um, and then here, and they're all adjustable, so I just tightened them up after I got the stake where I wanted it, so that it's tight on the tent and tight on the footprint. So it looks like you have to cut your own for whatever stove you're gonna use. Yeah, I have a seek outside stove that I'm gonna use with this one this year. Um, but the weight, we'll put the weight and the specs all in here, but it's very light. Yeah. And I am a floor, like I like a footprint. Like I think that's a huge deal to me. I don't, if you don't have a footprint, you gotta bring some sort of a ground cloth. What do you bring? I have a, a cheap silly nylon tarp that fits me and my stuff. Um, and then I also 
You bring Tyvek? No. Have you ever tried Tyvek? I have before, and um, it's, I don't like it. It's not. It's a little bit heavier than my uh, tarp, and then I use my tarp as also my meat tarp. So um, it's dual purpose, and then I just I throw it in the washing machine when I get home, yep. wash it up, and it's good to go. So these are the line locks. Um, it basically uses friction and this groove to keep it tight. Uh, so it's got to go through this direction, and then you just pull it, pull it tight. It's hooked to our uh, stake here, and if you want to loosen it, you just pull it up and it loosens up. Pretty slick. They're super lightweight little guys. Lots of extra guy outs on this for when you are in like extra windy weather. Buy extra stakes. You, yeah, you're gonna need more stakes than what we have, or you'd have to improvise and build your own in the back country. This one, we've got um, three points to one stake, uh, which works pretty good. And there, it's kind of built that way. If you look at the way this um, is built, it's built to pull this direction and not straight out. So it's, it's basically built to do it this way. Saves weight, less stakes. Kind it's of pretty good. a lot of room. Yeah. and then get it completely out of the way. I would probably set up my stove. Is the stove pipe's gonna be back here, set the stove this way. So like, you can build up your wood pile here. We call it a wood cache. Wood cache, and then just stoke it. When you're building it, you can stoke it while you're standing out here. Got the same triple guy line over here, so kind of opposing the other side really gives you a lot of room. All right, so in conclusion, this is what I'm probably gonna run this year. I got one more to test. I do have a Cimarron from Seek Outside. It's pretty good. I think this one might be better to be honest with you, but I'll be using the Seek Outside stove. I still gotta cut my hole. And Tyler, do you have a stove? Yeah, I have a Seek Outside as well. I'm, Tyler is gonna take over this TP. that's gonna be his, so he's gonna run it, put it through its paces. I got a couple nights in mine in the Idaho backcountry, and it was awesome, slept pretty good. It's a very, I mean, it's a really intuitive system because I was able to do it without instructions, so that means it was very intuitive. And uh, great material, lightweight, Peaks is known for good stuff, and um, I really like that you can put your trekkers the way that they have it in there. That's probably my favorite part for hanging stuff out to dry. That's really when a stove comes in handy is when you have weather and then you don't have to come off the mountain because you guys all know hunting is usually really good once the storm breaks. And if you can be out there and, st and withstand that, it's awesome. Tyler, final thoughts? I like it. It's, I'm excited to try it. It's, it looks nice, but I'll know more once I get it out in the woods and actually sleep in it a couple nights. But so far, so good.